Not long now, Mom. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure, faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. strong. voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me. So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers and piss off! When no one's looking, 
We'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget. We're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, check their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. Giants. That's, that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, 
That's just what I was going to say. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind runes. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and came near nearby. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. to our house. The Acer though. Balder. You fought it and won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pap. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and Roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now, what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break.
I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. Alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That one. Behind the big statue of Thor. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. We will continue another time. Good.
scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brain? Because I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me, and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road. Sorry. Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. That bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself afoul of a scruffy fella about yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow? <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted Aesir business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual. <laughs> I've been a dead assholes lately. No, <laughs> Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Resources for our journey. You want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. That's a soldier. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no help, no effort, ever. It does not attack. Ah. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come.
Here, boy. <laughs> 